And now it's time for a, a little bit that I like to call the worst. I'm sure most people out there are at least somewhat familiar with the idea of using the backspace key mm -hmm. on your keyboard mm -hmm. as the back button in your browser. This is something that uh, a bunch of internet browsers have had for a very long time. And in May, Google made the long overdue decision to remove that feature because it makes no sense. And for whatever reason, I guess to placate the weird, angry people out there who were super upset that, yeah, we'll get to you. Don't worry. Uh, <laughs> Go on. <laughs> that this feature was pulled out of Chrome. They created an extension that adds it back in. Why? 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 Who wants this feature? I and mean, let's, let's be super honest. Backspace is the back button is super outdated. It predates web apps. It's probably older than internet browsers. I'd have to look. Somebody out there will probably tell me it like comes from like Emacs or something. Uh, yeah. So, but like, it's way too easy to just like accidentally go back a page, empty out web forums. I've actually lost concert tickets because of this feature where I failed to click cleanly into the text entry field, hit the backspace key, and lost tickets to, I forget what at this point, and it <laughs> sold out in the time it took me to refresh the page. I have lost posts that I've written for the site. Yes, I have too. Um, like, what monster thought this was a good idea? Like, what insane person decided, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna have a one button keyboard shortcut, a button that you use on a fairly regular basis to edit text, which is a lot of what you do on the internet is edit, enter text into things and then make that this like trigger to lose everything you're doing. Like beyond that, like it's just poor design. Keyboard shortcuts should not be something you should be able to accidentally do and especially not one that's so destructive. Like control alt delete, you're not gonna accidentally do that. Command W, you're not accidentally doing that. Any one button short keyboard shortcuts are keys that you're not using. Why does F5 for refresh work? Because F5 has no other function when you're in a web browser. Like it's just, it's terrible, terrible design. It's a stupid feature that should have been removed a long time ago. It's basically just the worst thing in the world. Terrence, how much you... redder his face got. Hey, I was I gonna say, you're so red. I'm fired up. Terrence, do you use Chrome? I use Chrome. I use Chrome. You know what's never happened to me? Any of the things you've just said. So is it an issue with the design of the browser itself or just you? you. You've never opened up our um, CMS to, let's say, correct a typo in a headline and you hit the backspace key too quickly and then you're just launched out of the post that you're trying no. to correct? No, no. And also, by the way, Terrence, to your point Are about- Are we just right living in a personal Can hell? Wait, that's <laughs> I think so. Possibly. And to your point about writing a post in the CMS and like hitting backspace accidentally and like going back and losing it. Why are you writing in the CMS in the first place, man? Yeah, I I know. Like, look, look. <laughs> look. I think you told me that on my like, first day at work. Yes, and I learned that the hard way when I first started here. <laughs> I was saving other people the trouble of learning don't write posts directly in the CMS. Mm. I still write directly in Me too. Why, you guys? But I never make that mistake talk. of the backspace. I know exactly where to put my cursor all the time. I know where to have my active fields and my inactive fields. Well, sure, Lynn never makes mistakes. I never <sighs> do, yeah, you, you know guys. What? Although I did just lose Flame Wars, so. Yeah, you've never just like missed like clicking in the text field cleanly and like didn't Once notice or, or like bumped like the trackpad with your palm. I mean, it's also not like it's super hard right. to just like hit alt left. Is it really Ugh. that hard? Or if you're on a Mac and you have a you have a touchpad, like it's a gesture, like just three fingers or two mm -hmm. fingers or whatever. The gesture's it back. It, it's all it's the same way. In the same way, it is also annoying because I accidentally swipe left all the time when I'm trying to scroll up and down. I go back and forth sometimes by accident. So I do make mistakes, but I've never used the back button mistakenly. I think you are in for a world of hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Man, Dan is gonna edit me so hard now. I. Uh, <laughs> I'm really concerned for the people out there 
who have parents that use computers and have been doing this for decades. Because as you point out, this is a long-standing practice. I di- so I wrote the story about the, the Chrome extension yesterday. I did a little research because it's just really like strangely fascinating. And so using Backspace to go back did not exist in Mosaic, the very first web browser. It didn't exist in Netscape Navigator, the first version. So far as people have been able to discover on the internet, it showed up in Internet Explorer maybe around 95, and that's probably because Microsoft decided to use Backspace as a hotkey to go back up one directory in Windows Explorer, and that's kind of why it's there. And then Firefox did it just for consistency. So if we're going off of that history, it's been a thing for like 20 years. Mm-hmm. People have been using it. This is this is just their expectation of how a computer works. And if you're a parent who's doing this and it just changes on you, like I would hate to be the kid getting that phone call at three in the afternoon saying, my Backspace doesn't work anymore. Fix my computer, please. I, I get that, and I, I understand the consistency thing to mm-hmm. an extent, but you know things change. We don't use the same keyboard shortcuts for absolutely everything, and I am, also to be clear, a big fan of keyboard shortcuts. Mm-hmm. I use them constantly. Um, I think people who don't know keyboard shortcuts, and I watch them like use the context <laughs> left-click right-click <laughs> menu, drive me nuts. <laughs> um, but like just like from moment one, that was poor design basically and it's something that shouldn't have been sur- shouldn't have survived and shouldn't have been propagated you know by the late 90s most keyboards like that came with your gateway computer had like a dedicated browser back button my thinkpad has a dedicated browser back button my old thinkpad which is now 10 years old has a dedicated browser back button. Those are gross. Yeah. I hate those on Why laptops. I, I those I'm on not keyboards. saying that I like them, but I'm saying they're there like on most keyboards at this po- point. Why did I need to use Backspace to do it? You know what Backspace does? It erases God, erases text. That's what its purpose is. <laughs> <laughs> it's not to go back. It serves two different purposes. Why? Ah. <laughs> I'll, I'll throw the, uh, so like I don't I'm never gonna change your mind. I'll throw this out there. Some people like to navigate with just a keyboard. Yep. God knows when I was like 12 years old reading fan fiction on the internet, oh I would put the mouse over there. I'd like use my arrow keys to scroll up and down. If yep. there was a lot of text, I'd use the space bar or page up and page down, and then backspace to go back. And it's just how it worked. Maybe yep. this is an emotional argument because I love that. That's my childhood. Yep. I'm but. I'm with you. I mean, I'm the guy who, I don't scroll. I hit space when I'm reading the web. I like page up and page down. One of the things that I loathe about uh, MacBooks is there is no dedicated page up and page down button. Like, that's a thing that on a Windows laptop just fills me with joy. Mm -hmm. But even still, backspace as a back button doesn't make sense. And if you're somebody who's dedicated to using the keyboard to navigate, it is not super hard to hit two buttons at the same time, which would be a smarter, better de- designed keyboard shortcut. We are never going to agree nope. on this. We're, we're never going to agree. Never, never. This is just, we're just going to keep I hate to agree with Velasco, but, but I agree with him. I think it's because of how and when we grew up. Oh, it's, so you think it's a generational thing? I, it might be a generational thing because we, like you, you like your point yeah. before, we mm. grew up being used to it. Getting, so what you're I saying? I avoid the backspace key sometimes. Are you, are you just Wait. saying that because I predate the internet, um, I hate it? Basically. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and this is an argument that like no one younger than us will like ever have. Yeah. Yep. No. Uh, I can't wait for the hate mail to roll in for this one. <laughs> we got some really so so Nick first wrote the story about Google thinking about doing this back in May. Yeah. And like the comments on that story were so so good. And it was an even split, too. Like, yeah. some people were terrified. Some people were like, yes. Yeah. Finally. 